Alive. Oh, sweet. Took a second for it to refresh, but we are live. Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Dez, and we're back with some more Skyrim. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe. Right. That one. And the game's froze, of course it has. Come on. There we go. Oh, how are you wonderful demon cubs doing? Oh. Right. So, I've done a little bit off cam. We went and found... Oh, hey Serena. Um, went and found the... Other dragon skull. So we've got the sun and blood, I believe now. Um, if you'll have saw on Twitter, the sneak peek was us getting some more like ball armor. Due to a uh, awesome mod, hey Serena, do you mind being all up my face for a second, hon? Thank you. Um, what else have we done? Let's see. Oh, we did some of the crossbolt missions, uh, the crossbow missions, even. We've now got a. Oh, this is junk. We've got the rune hammer, uh, which is a nice little thing. Bashing. Places a rune on a nearby surface. The rune explodes for 50 points of fire damage when enemies come near, which is dope. Uh, where's it at? There we go. So we've got the enhanced dwarven crossbow. We've got the fire bolts, the ice bolts, and the shock bolts. Oh, and that's an expl exploding steel bolt. Um, so all of their missions are done. Um, I've been doing missions for... Oh, stupid steam overlay. Go away. So, we've been doing missions for Soreen, she does the crossbolts, Gunmar, he's got the armoured trolls over back there, and then, where's the other guy, he's the one that always speaks to RK, there he is, he keeps sending us to find awesome epic stuff, Calico, 10 month streak! Congratulations, Calico, and thank you so much. How have you been, hon? Sorry I've missed your last few streams. It's been uh, it's been an interesting time here. I shall make sure to catch your next one, though. How have you been doing, hon? How's the move going? Wait a minute. It's, it's a ten-month streak. Does that mean we've got a Twitch baby? Is that a th is that a thing? I think Holly was telling me about it, like nine months, and then apparently after that it's a Twitch baby. It's just like um, didn't know that was a thing. Right. Oh, so these haven't respawned. So the armored trolls are through here. You can buy one for five hundred. I don't know if it just becomes a follower, but I will take the raw meat. Because after we finish the Dawn Guard, we're going to try and find a way to get um, the Sanguine Disease or become a vampire an alternative way. I don't know which other way there is. Um, as I say, I only ever... Not well, normally I just stick with the vampires. Oh, no worries. Never apologize. And our move got postponed due to COVID, but that's okay. Oh, man, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. But I guess it means you've got more time to prep now, hon. Now, a Twitch babe. Apparently, it's a thing. Honestly, I was like, wait, what? And Holly was like, yeah. Like, you know, after a couple of months, like after nine months. Yeah, it's been a bit. Oof. But, uh. Oh. Getting there, I'm getting there. But uh just dealing with bleak pain now, which is annoying. Uh 
Uh oh. Lots and lots of kids. I mean, kids are awesome, to be fair. The ones that live around at the back of me aren't, but that's because they don't know any better. Oh, we can make one of these. What do we mean, ectoplasm? Where did I get ectoplasm from? Um, turn these. I am not prepared. <laughs> right. Now, everyone says, oh, I'm going to have kids when I'm ready. You're never ready. Simple as that. You are never ready. And I don't have children. I nearly did. I nearly had a beautiful little girl. But, uh, apparently it wasn't meant to be. So, trust me, when people say, oh, I'll, when I'm ready, when I'm ready, you're never ready. It's as simple as that. You get chucked in at the deep end and like, yeah, off you go. I mean, buying things like uh, the cribs and things like that, that's different. But for the, the physical and the mental preparedness of it, yeah, I don't care what anyone says, you're never ready until it happens. Steel dagger. Oh. But yes, uh, by the way, Calico, before you ask, yes, we are playing with mods. Uh, hence why we've got awesome armor. Um, get all them. Steel swords. That is very true. I am terrified of actual children. You, honestly, children are so resilient. Like, the one mistake I see a lot of people make is when a child falls over or a child is hurt, they'll go, oh, no, 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 no. Or, oh, are you okay? Instantly, that's going to put the seed of, uh-oh, something's happened into the kid's mind. If you're like, oh, what have you done that for, you silly goose? Or, you know, and make a joke of it and get them laughing. Guarantee they'll recover one faster, two, they'll forget about it. And three, if they hurt themselves in the future, and you do the exact same, they're instantly going to come out of it. But no, children are wicked resilient. And I don't know why I'm still playing with a controller. So let's turn that off. Boop, 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 boop. Right, so we're not going to do any, these missions for these two. We'll just continuously keep going and going and going. Um, so we're going to stop that. And we've got an actual mission, the Unseen Visions. So, because our moth priest guy that we rescued... I don't know where he is. I nicked his sword, by the way, because it's an epic-looking katana-looking dude. There he is. Because in his rush to do it, he didn't prepare himself or whatever, and now he's blind. Um, and I also, like I said, I stole his weapon. Um, nope. Put that back down. Oh... I love his outfit, and I can't play keyboard, even though it's kind of better in this game. The controller. Um, I'm at the point now where I'm so used to keyboard, it's just easier. Uh, yeah, this is me. So I've got the mo uh, the chosen one of the Morlock Ball set. Got a little backpack on there with a with an axe and a. Torch, I believe, and then my arrows stick out, and my tents on there as well. I don't know why the tents equipped; I never asked for it. And then we've got Serena, who has the cloth one, so she's covered. Um, epic sword. Our boots are the same because the boots weren't different. The one thing that got me a bit confused on this um, mod is there is a two-handed axe. But on a one-handed oh. axe, there's a one-handed. There's three, no, two one-handed swords. One's a long sword, one's a short sword. It's the wrong way. No, it's not it's the right way. Um, and then they've got the big two-hander, which I actually have in my bag as well, because I need a level two-handed as well. Actually, how close are we to get the one-handed done? Magic, I haven't even started on. So we've got smithing, enchanting is gone. It's going up slowly. Oh, I can put a point in there. 
Yep. Come on, just give me this one. Oh, and click it. That's handy. Uh, oh, they're now 25% stronger. So I need to get 100 to be able to put two enchantments on. Um, smithing is legendary and maxed. Heavy armor, this with the patrol. The heavy armor and the block is so easy to level with them patrols. I think they're not supposed to be able to be killed. But because I've got a way of making my armor stupidly strong, like we're talking over 100,000, it just maxes instantly. Two handed, that's only gone up with books. Well, 98, legendary one, and 98 here. So, am I able to? Oh, that's already done. Paralyze and strike backward. A backwards power attack has a 25% chance to paralyze on target. There's two more, and this will be done. My bow is 100, and I have not legendaried it because it is a pain in the ass. But we're going to have to eventually. Uh, one handed, getting it up like that will be even better for the simple fact is I've got Nettle Bane and a Dragon Priest dagger, both pimped out. Um, light armor, again, we will have to get that done. Oh, Sneak's finally 100. It's about fucking time. Sneaking everywhere, trying to um, hunt down elks and stuff for the skins. Lock picking. I need this one got to 100. I want that one there so my lock picks don't break. And then master locks will be easier. By the way, Calico, I've put far too much time into this game. <laughs> uh, I think I'm over. I think it's like 7,000 hours. But yeah, I've never had a save. That's had everything done, like the Brotherhood, Thieves Guild, um, Blade, Storyline, etc, etc, College of Windhold, Bard's College. Um, when did this get to 100? Oh, because I was selling all the crap. I always forget selling things and buying things, which is speechy. So, Alchemy, I never really bother with. Um, I should. I do want to get everything to 100 and at least maybe legendary once. Pickpocket's taken a pain in the ass to go up. But all the magic's pretty much just super low. Um, so, 98. Okay, we'll keep rolling with this sword then. Um, it's very interesting, Calico. Um, if we fight a vampire, they don't die when the health reaches zero. I've actually got to stake them. Which uh, did screw me over in the beginning of the game. You're dead. Thank you. Um, so, the I've got Grim Sever. I forgot to say, we went to Mleshnoslift, I think it's called. Mleshnoslift. However you pronounce it. Yeah, I think I just offended a couple of people out there. Sorry. Um, so, this is the two-hander. And then this is the single-hander. And as you can see, it's, it says it does 475, but that's because it doesn't... The rest of the numbers don't fit. It actually does 37524 damage. So, 37524. 30, 30, Same as... Oh, that goes up. Huh. How come that one doesn't go up as much? Either way, I don't get why, but oh well. Um, we've got Longbow, Nettlebane, as I say, legendary dip. Um, we killed the Dragon Priest. And we got his dagger. Where is it? It'll be Dece that's up here. There we go, Dragon Priest dagger. Uh, we've still got our awesome bow of shadows. Makes us go invisible. And then... We've got loads of amulets and stuff. Actually, I still need to get... An amu another amulet of Mara. Another amulet of Talos. And another amulet of Zenithar. Oh, and Akatosh. So then I'll have all the shrines built. Oh, what am I on about? You guys don't know. I never showed you. Uh, that's for me assuming, which just makes an ass out of you and me. Right, so, Lakeview Manor. Yes. 
Oh. Do, do, do. Ten month streak. God damn. Right, so here's the house. It's nearly complete. It's taken me a fair bit to work on. Um, I think what I'm left with is the shrines and like some saber pelt teeth. Uh, what have we got left in this room? Yeah, I still need teeth for these. And I think it's the same f like throughout, just odds and ends. So we've got a bedroom here. Um, everyone says that making the bedroom's pointless, but technically it's not. Putting this on the house, even though there's two beds upstairs there and a double bed over there, you can have a steward look after your house. And you can have a... What's the other one? A house bodyguard, I think. House Carl. You can like send one of your followers here. Um, and obviously they'll need a bed to sleep in. Um, we got the trophy room? No. Armory. Here. So we've got the mannequins to put all the sets on once we do them. So there'll be um, College of Winterhold, Thieves Guild, oh, pardon me, uh, Dark Brotherhood, uh, Blades, and... I'm missing one. Can't remember what the other one will be. Um, and then we've got the trophy room in here. Actually, do I have a dragon scale on me? I should have, because we killed a... Was it a crystal dragon? Yes, we do. So... Oh, put that down. Keep hitting the wrong button. So, we're going to put a dragon skull right there. Oh, I thought I faced out here. We've got a Falmer here. And a, is this, I think this is an Ice Wolf. Um, I don't know what to put on these big ones. Oh, sorry. Um, what is the, what's the options? A cow. We can put a cow on there. Uh, Droga. Dwarven Sphere. Elk. Put a frostbite spider on there. Got a snow bear. Um, a hawker. Why would you want to put a hawker on there? Oh, saber cat. But again, that's more teeth. So we'll put a nice big spider up on here. I like how you just need its fangs, and apparently you can make the rest of it out of paper mache and thin air. Um. <laughs> you can put a goat on here. Mud crabs, skeevers. Oh, you can put a skeleton on here. What do we need? A bow, ancient nord bow. You need two bows, a skull, and five bone meal. Um, oh, and a spriggan. We just need a taproot, so we can put that on the other side. But what are we going to put on here? If you're still there, Calico, you can pick one. Chorus. Oh, that's the thing that turns into the court. Yeah, chorus hunters. Huh. Right, the coffee. Oh. But yeah. Anyway, we'll figure figure that out. And then we've got the basement. <coughs> now, I don't know if it's me, but I'm pretty sure you can put a coffin there. I'm, I'm pretty sure it, you can put a coffin there. But you have to be a vampire, because it's it's not here. Now, see, I can build the Shrine of Mara, but I've only got the one amulet, and that's the one I'm wearing. But I need Akatosh, Mara, Talos, Zenitha, and we need, so we need six, we need eight cat teeth in total if we want to put another saber up there. Yeesh. Um, oh, that's the priest's blade. Um, 
got another mannequin, shrines and such. Um, I've been putting oars, ingots, uh, leather and stuffs in that one. I think this one's house supplies. Oh no, gems. Um, these are all empty. I'll make some pretty things to hang up on here. Um, there's nothing in that one. No. Wait. Sorry. Oh. Oh, you're right up my ass. Sorry there. And then that one. Let's get to the closer. Should be able to see what I had for breakfast. Bloody hell. Oh, so. Anyway, now that we've shown you around, uh, pretty much everything's built up there. Just uh, I think there's two two displays like the alcades and things up there to be built too. I forgot how much backwards and forwards to get glass, straw and logs sent over here there actually was. Um, a good way to make money though, if you've got five grand and you want to, you want to make more money, honestly, AFK and a bit of sellotape, that's all you're going to need. Buy this, get yourself a pickaxe which is resting against the wall, put it on, and equip it normally, but don't click mine. Just sell, take your mouse button down and go ham. That's it. And just sell the stone. So much easier. All the crypts and tombs, and, you know. So we need to go over to Ancestor's Glaive. Oh, yes, we need to find a debarking knife to lure moth spirits. I don't know if it means moths as in creatures or moth priests, but either way, uh, which way do we need to go? Was it a pelt? Is it a wolf pelt? And I missed these? Oh, oh yeah, they're the pelts, not the antlers and stuff that I need. Oh, this guy did his heel. We had a merry night though before he we went by the looks on it. I don't know, that's just a bandit. Just nick all of his stuff. Cabin in the woods. Every time I hear the words cabin in the woods, it reminds me of, um, oh, what was the female chicken? Uh, Left for dead. Just might remember her saying, I know how this story ends. And I will never be able to unsee the fact that she's got three hands in one of the pictures. I think it's dead air holding a pistol. She's got a hand under the pistol, a hand on the side of the pistol, the brace, like, is a standard wood, and then she's got a hand underneath them. So, ugh. It's creepy. Oh, what is it? Can you get out your wood? I want to get that coin purse, but there we go. So is this a bandit's hut, or was the uh, hell? Did he get iced? Just realised his hands are sticking out. Um. Ah, oh, she's so sweet. There's a mod downloaded to marry her, apparently. Didn't know that was a thing. Apparently a lot of people wanted her, because she's one of the immortals. Especially with the, um thing I've got on where you've got to stake the vampires to kill them, so technically she can't die. And who's the other? Oh, the other immortal one is Major Linus, because she's got a quest. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I've whapped her on her ass far time, uh, more times than I care to admit, but twice was because one, she was stuck in the floor. So I had to bop her so she'd fall down and slide like back onto the ground instead of under it. There's a dragon! Now what kind of dragon are you? We're here! Hello! Oh, okay, suit yourself. Guaranteed if I hadn't looked for him he would have swapped down for me. Yeah, we're here, dragon. Hello. I 
I'll say one thing though, the Lunar Dragon looks beautiful. The uh, author of that mod did a darn good... Oh, that dragon's from up here. Ooh, okay. Well, dragon, we're coming to get you. Oh, and I re-keybinded the shout because pushing Z was a bit awkward. So, I'm guessing... No, nope, we can go up this way. Let's get this dragon deaded. It's taking me away from the dragon, but I'm hoping it's going to... Yeah, it does. Poachers. Catch stuff now, bitches. I love that. That's one of my favourite um, dragon powers or shouts. No, oh, that's not the same dragon. Two dragons being that close together. Normally the fight. It's rare, but it happens. Oh, off you go. I think he's an earth dragon. Dragon. I've never met this kind of dragon before. Come on, you stupid dragon. Just land. I'm going to boop you. Boop. Oh, it looks like he's a Chinese dragon. Ah, okay. Yeah, the author, honestly, knocked it out of the park with these dragon skins. Oh, I mean, there's another third. Nice. I just need to get the Talos. I mean, I know where there is a Talos one, but it's a quest item. Which I've never done. Because it never, it never gives you the prompt for it. Animal Allegiance. So now we can befriend all the animals. And then we're going to fast travel over here. And then wait some time so Sore uh, Serena comes back. Oh, there she is. Uh, where's the cave? <clears throat> oh. What are you up to today, Miss... Sorry. Miss Calico? It's a minute. You were the one that pointed out Dexian to me, right? So he's not my friend, it's yours. It looks a dead end unless we need to be up there. Ah, okay. I can't say I remember this place if I've ever been here. Look at this place. No one's been here in 
Moths about, so I'm guessing it was moths as a creature, not the uh, moth priests. Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Yeah, I hope they do too. Start to start to be all shiny. So these moths have apparently got power to for us to be shielded from a well from the effects of the Elder Scroll. So we've got three. We need four more of these swarms. Oh, there's a swarm. Nice. So how come that swarm didn't come to us? We were just stood here. Unless they're just chilling anyway. Okay, so we're gonna go find some more. down here? Yeah, there is. Noise. Enter the column of light and read the Elder Scroll Blood. This tells us basically what um, Serena's mother told us her blood and her mother's blood have got some sort of magic stuff going on. Um, the sun. So where's the Elder Scroll of Blood? That was Blood that it said, didn't it? Did the I'm confused. Because it should be on me, right? Yeah, it's just color of blood. It should be on my persons, and it shouldn't have been able to come out of it. Huh. Get my cable out of the way. Uh, that one. 
books. Yeah, it's definitely not there. Um, let's just give it a fucking code. What's the spawn code? What's this command for that, actually? Aha, got it. Right. Well, I hope I would not have done this, but... Oh, that's because I clicked. Oh, you can't just... Ugh. Alright, so... I need to type player dot add go away stupid thing add item space dragon born Space DLC, space code, is that a plus or a, Manu, how are we doing bud? I think that's a plus. Yeah, it is. I've just enhanced the screen. How are we doing, bud? Uh, space plus space zero one one eight F stupid thing F nine space one enter. Item. Ah, uh, this is kind of annoying. You can't copy and paste this stuff either. Which is super annoying. How are you doing, bud? Oh, I need to find the DLC code. Ooh. DLC code badge is Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. Huh. Uh. Oh, I can just do that. That's good. Space zero four. Enter. Right, now hopefully I should have a scroll, no, no, book, sun. Why didn't that work? Zero four. Oh, this is annoying. Why isn't it working? Hey, man, if you're a bit confused what I'm doing, I'm trying to get the, right. So I should have had an Elder Scroll 
labelled blood. It should have been in my inventory, and for some reason it's not. Um, it could be due to me removing a mod, or... I don't know. But, whatever the reason, it's... Uh, Yeah, I've typed that incorrectly. Play stupid overlay. Player dot add item. Space zero four zero one one eight. F nine space and I need one of them. This is not found. Missing parameter count. Hey, 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 right, give me it. Right, no, it closed us of the crap down. Well, that was annoying. That one. Right, now we're gonna read the bloody thing. Uh, that one. Ta -da! God, it took me ten minutes to figure out that crap. Whoa. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Well, you can try, and I'll kill him. Are we ready then? Is this an open cave? It is. So, we are to go all the way up here. Been here? No. I can't fast off from this location. Why the hell not? Oh, I know why. I swear, I got steam overlay. Go away. with your head. Gargoyle Brute. That's a new one. Nick all their stuff. And we're out of here. So that's what will stop me from fast traveling. Oh. Oh. 
I just knocked her out. <sighs> and it, the annoying thing about it is, she resists um, healing spells. So if I try to heal her, it just doesn't work. Which is rightly annoying. But hey oh, it's at least at least my issues. Oh, I think Manny was having some connection troubles. <clears throat> right. While we wait for her to, you know, get her health back. Oh, come on, Serena. <laughs> She's nicked me stuff too. I'm gonna have to make one of them um, ambulance where she takes no damage because it's it's kind of annoying when she gets hit every ten seconds. I think there's vampires out here as well. Up here, yeah. Uh, drank tooth, drank tooth, and I guess. Oh, would it be easier to? I can't see a path coming from this way, so yep. Drank tooth, and over. And if there's a dragon there, we'll kick its ass too. In fact, I own concrete casts of two of the Dragon Priest masks. Now, this is yeah, I was going to say, bitch, get out my face. God damn it, woman. She just yeeted her body somewhere as well. That's Fox. Trying to level up the stubbies. where our body landed. She was over there, now over here. Okay. Well, is there someone here? How is he still alive? Oh, he was her... Uh, she summoned him. In this view, there we go. We still didn't get a tooth. Probably gonna have to buy them if I can find a store selling them. Ba -ba -ba -ba.
Oh, we got some force one targets. What's the hurry? You dead as hell. This cave isn't marked. Not too sure why this cave isn't marked up. to run them skeeve ahead in the water. Take all their potatoes. Oh, oh. Is this cave not on the on the map? That's what I was stuck on. Richmond map. I could have made the flipping essence. Just needs a data hammer. That's annoying. Right, where is. Takes no damage. That's the one that we need for Serena. I was I'm glad that we had the stuff for that. Makes it so much easier. Yo, you. Yes. This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. Why is she collecting arrows? She's got dragon bone arrows. Uh, parallel and give. All right, now you can't die. I'm ready if you are. Good. Rather deal with one inconvenient message every now and then than her flipping on her ass every 20 seconds. Ooh, ice shards. Take all that. Yeah. Potion. Not 
that's where the goat was, and we're good. Okay, so what did that update on my map? Oh, got another cave over here then. Rebels. So, anywhere there's forsworn camps, it's put a little. Okay. And we're in Darkfall Cave, but it's not gonna do that. Well, it's not gonna say we've collected until we're outside, I guess. Still has an update saying that we found it. Oh no, that's where we're supposed to be going. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, trying to find out how I could get a sanguine infection or whatever it's called so I can be a vampire that's going to be fun to figure out because draconians are 70% more resistant to diseases so I'm going to have to find a vampire and just let them wail on me for like however long ah oh, this is where all the pretty stuff is and it's literally Sorry. all under the map Ooh, we can find the power guns in here too. You have literally got the most powerful magic available at you, so you can just one hit it. Come on, give me all the ore. I'm actually mining as well. She know. Remember, do we have, we have to eat ourselves in there, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, uh, all the spiders. Much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, 
The sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. Oh, okay. In that part, I don't know. Once we have it, hopefully it'll be obvious. Okay. All right, then. I never stood a chance. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. There goes the glare off the screen. So, we've got a spooder over here. See someone want to follow her. Is my torch actually on, or is it just a glow? Put that away. It's on, but it's not really working. There's another really flipping bright one of the two. In case we've got more spooderers. Huh. Oh. I shall read that note in a minute. I got no idea. Sorry. So, oh. Uh. Oh, they fell behind us. Just lead to the same way, I guess. So this poor sod got wrecked. Actually, do we have a torch? Uh, what do we class as misc? Torches are class. Oh, ever burning torch. No, she's 
someone to troll. I don't want to come forward. You have nothing to fear here. Okay. I am Knight Paladin Gellibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Of course, you're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. Holy! Thanks for the resub, hon! How are you doing? Eight months. Damn. I need you to kill Archcureth Bertha, my brother. The kinship. You missed it just before, Holly. I don't understand. Miss Calico herself was here. No longer she resubbed as well. Him. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. Oh, uh, Let's see. Well, one sec. Tab out of that for a sec. They swept into the chantry no, without get up there. and began oh, killing everyone without pause. So, Now apparently you're two months behind. Yeah, according to this, you're two months behind. Um, like my brother in Calico. That's that's odd. Yeah, cause last time you asked if I was pregnant. Because we, what were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about, um... The Chantry was a place of peaceful oh, worship. The call. I led worship. a small group of paladins. But we were no match for the betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Bertha. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel. And an assault on the betrayed guarding the inner sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you. The <laughs> twitch be broken. for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Hello, 
prophets of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel. So what you mean up to? What if that basin in the center set the fire? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the Wei Shrine center and proceed to the next Wei Shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Mark and sleep. Work and sleep. How long did they have to do that? Well, Oof. once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Archcurate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and pay Mario's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the initiative. I've been offered a footsteps. kind of promotion, so from personally I've been hectic. Just as they did. Plus, it's been the nuts since lockdown the eased. Yeah, passage, I, I don't see the point in it myself. It's just going to kick off again. Just like it did last time as they eased it off and the time before that. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now Ooh. is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. They're a big fan of them, honestly. The games and the films were pretty crap. But it's a great concept. Nemesis is cool. That... Oh yeah, every time we go through a screen I'm gonna have that bloody message. The films are shit and you know it. It's only because you get to see flipping your bloody fancy woman in one of them. Wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. Kind of soothing, actually. I feel a little warmer now. <laughs> Whatever. I still think it's amusing how a lot of people thought she was, uh, she was a guy for a while. More than two screen movies. Oh, they're climbing around. things. Remind me of the Varkids from Borderlands. No, I'm an Argoni. Well, I'm a dragon. He's a guy, though. Just sounds like an absolute wimp. Where's Serena gone?
Serena, where are you? There's a trap here somewhere. Yeah, my my dude makes like a really yeah. noise as well, which is stupid. Oh, it's a release system. Uh, where the fucking hell did she get to? There she is. Oh, look at this. Lots of potions just ready for me. Who's there? Yeah, the snow elves that went to live on the ground and then they eventually evolved to be blind and they heightened their senses and then they became feral. Because, you know, why not? No, not yet. I'm going to move my room around and whatnot to get things sorted for it and I really Show can't yourself. be bothered. It took you like an hour to do, but get the room sorted and moved around will take a lot longer. In between my back and what not going on, I've decided just not to, not to do it yet and agitate the already sore and buggered uh, muscles. Just realised how that's going to sound coming across from the other side there. Someone asking about uh, a female asking about a guy's bed. Other well, no, persons up here. And you saw, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come across a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> we know what we mean. Ow! Um. Is that booby trapped? Oh, bloody was as well. PG-13 round here. <laughs> I mean, no comment. Then I can't get into trouble for saying something. What the... Depicted my ex really well here. I was gonna say you are, but I want the boobies. <laughs> You're not getting my boobies. Wait, did you just say you want my boobs? Very forward, very forward, Holly.
can see. Now I called her out on it. She's not replying. <laughs> yeah, you want my front. I know you do, you naughty woman. I'm trying to get my boobies. Let's collect, let's collect all this stuff. Get out the way. And then click that. been keeping well hun apart from working your butt off and uh, sleeping lots I haven't heard from you to be fair I've been a bit worried about you if I'm honest what the oh okay Serena just chill out Serena or whatever the hell I've been calling you All the glowy flowers. I wish you could send gifts on here. Would send the fast booby one. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of weeks. This one's been shite. Yeah, honestly, it's been that way here too. Um, just crap times all around, really. Well, they didn't know we were here, they do now. Housekeeping. No. No housekeeping. Uh, even with the weather's be oh, what goes five different types of weather in one day, dude. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir. When I was in Telford, right, I lived there for a little bit, and I'm not kidding you, within the space of about four, maybe five hours, it went from absolutely diabolically blisteringly cold, right. To then being cloudy with a bit of storm, to then being super sunny, then super windy, then it literally started hailstoning, and the hailstones were the size of golf balls. And after about 20 minutes of that, went to this just beautiful day. I was like, huh? The great thing is, my father-in-law at the time had to go and get the bus, and there was no bus stops. He was getting pelted across the top of his head with these massive hailstones. Couldn't have asked for a better time. All right, so this is the kind of thing I've been to see. Let's see, see. So, Anna, see, I am awesome. Right? I've taken you to all these lovely places. Okay, I'm just sorry for hitting you every now and then. You get you deep like you're in the swing of my sword and I don't realise and then you're on the floor. You have to wait for the whole regen. It's a thing. Hail storm Yeah, it's more like bowl armor. I've got the same one once I put my I'll put my weapon away. She's got the cloth set. that and then spin around so she's got the cloth set so she can be you know out and in the sun and I've got the the warrior set and now we're badasses and I've got she's got a shield as well but she won't use it So we need, we need to figure our way through here. I 
There should be some veiled these and stuff. Was that them? No one survives. Unless I can't be bothered with you. Right. Oh boy. Oh Holly, hopefully if you tune in tomorrow you'll get to see your logo. Been trying to get um Shah to send hers over, but they're having busy busy times. So it's we came down this way. And then ah, over here. Yeah. What you do is like I just needed you to make a logo or a picture or whatever. And then you get the picture and there's a program that converts the image into code basically and it then gets transferred into like an LCD screen on the game I play and then boop there's your logo up and displayed I've got mine no yeah I've got mine yours uh calicos momos Angel, uh, Devil Angels, uh, Badgers, of course, Cesses. I've got quite a few actually. There. I think there's nine in total so far. Don't fall off the edge. Hey, finally got a tooth. We only need like what seven more of them. This is the way to be illumination. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and then behold Ariel's gift, my child? Well, I say was yes. Your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. Just open the frickin' shrine. I know she can't be armed. I'm sick of flipping, swinging, and clapping at one. Okie dokie. Collect all the flowers. I don't know why. I don't really use them, but meh. Might come in useful. And they're pretty. Find it the bit I like. Yeah, we are. Nice. Right. So we need to get to all of these things. There's an enemy up here. Ah, oh, just a troll. Oh, there's another tooth. There's one uh, trophy we can build. These things got mangled to hell and back, huh? Now, I forget where you collect the paragons.
We'll find them. I might find them off cam, I don't know. Depends what I've got to do to get them. I know I've found a few of them before. I can't remember what I did to actually get them. Oh, you son of a bitch, you scared the crap out of me. Didn't even drop a tooth. Douchebag. Right. So. There's a one over here. Oh, it's that way. Oh, hope you're all doing well, chat. I think we're going to go through this one to get to the next area. Try and kill me. I don't know if you can hear, guys, but I constantly hear the effect of someone walking, like, aside from being surrounded. I'm back, had to hoover the flea powder before I forgot and left it. Yeah, that stuff can stink if you leave it too long. Just another way to protect the little kiddies. It's weird, I can, like, when me, I can still hear the footsteps, and me and Serena are stood still. Strange. Oh. Bust that one. Yeah, it's not a ghost. It's probably you skulking around in the behind my room or something trying to grab my boobs. I know what you're trying to do, Miss Holly. You pretend to be all innocent. But I know you're not. Um, is that all that's in here? Are you serious? Aha! There was a door up there. That's good. Right, so, chorus, chorus, who do you want to do? But that's a fat beetle. A shell, but. It's living and it's telling me I can mine it? <sighs> I always thought the shell bug was something to do with the Dragon Ball DLC. Because you can make a stupid looking helmet. This thing's alive and I'm just mining it. Just tearing chunks of it off. This ore vein is depleted. No, the creature's dead. <laughs> oh wait. Yep, yeah, it dead. It dead as hell. We just tore all of the stuff off its ass and now it's dead. So these are the things that they're living in. Ah, okay. Got about seven thousand hours in this game and I'm just learning more new stuff. So I came from down there, so they must have been keeping this one in here, fattening it up to eventually have another hung. But surely a door just leading to here would be a bit odd. But it does, it just literally leads to here. Huh. 
That is me thinking there was a passageway through to... Um, the shrine thing we needed. Here we go. Just can't remember where these damn paragons are, and they're nice to have. Welcome, Initiate. This is. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel? Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it speed your journey to the inner sanctum. Just. Activate it, will you? Just, just, you know. The dark full passage. Isn't this back in the cave? Some up there, and some over here. <gasps> oh boy. Oh, there's a Siaba tooth. Oh, and spiders. Look at the other hoodie. Now you're all dead. How about that? And you. Now, where did there he is? More spiders? I like the ones back home better. Um Oh, it's this bit. I got stuck on this bit for a while the last time. And there's a bit that's kind of similar to this, where there's two dragons fighting. Not that bit sucked. <laughs> now, is this bit going to be down here or up there? I've got to bet it's going to be up there, but we might as well just double check. Yeah, it is going that way. Hello, bitch. Oosh. Ugly ass, bitch ass. Oh, Paragon. Yes. Okay, so we need to find these things then, I guess. Well, certain creatures have got them, so basically, there's kill everything. So we got one Paragon. What's your favorite race on this game? You've arrived. 
arrived at the way. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ari? Then go forth, child. May the enrichment of Ari El strengthen your resolve as you undertake your journey to the inner sanctum. A wood elf. So that one connected. Huh. Fair enough. I thought you would have said Dark Elf or something like that. I thought you would have gone for Khajiit then. There we go, stupid dragon time. Give me the power. made a whole uh Glossarium. Glossarium. I hit your tail Land on the floor. Got you, bitch. That was the most late I've ever seen that. I just said I've only found the one paragon here. Oh, kind 
just stuck. the way shrine are you prepared to honor the man Ariel bless you child for you are a Wait, step plan closer on, to the inner sanctum and everlasting wisdom did you ever figure out that game that you were trying to recommend me Holly Getting a pasty and chips soon, and probably have a drink and play some more resi. Noise. Well, why haven't you been doing it? There's a point waster down below. I do need to change its text though. I keep forgetting to do it, and bloody Rosewood actually corrected the grammar and everything for my bio, my bio, or whatever you want to call it. I still never got around to changing it. I mean, I've got lists of, um... I'm on 48 points. Jeez. Plenty of points. I've just found the right page in my notepad here if I need, if you recommend any more. Alright. So now we need to get up there. There is a 50k goal, but you know, you're already VIP, so. Here somewhere. Ah. So we get up here and then that way. Are they two separate games there? Contrast and then the other one's Pinstripe? No, 
Oh, got some foam at the feet. from Still late, I wrote it down now. Oh, Jesus, hell, flipping else. <laughs> Disappointed, <laughs> Disappointed parent tone, huh? You know, you could get a good slap around the ear for doing something that you should over to your pa um, and your parents telling you off for it. Nothing it'll hurt worse than say, you know what, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. It just, ugh. Just hits that so, so much deeper. Ugh. You know, waifu, why would I have a disappointed parent tone with you for my waifu? You silly goose. It really is, it's just like, ah. Oh. Well, that is if you've got respectful parents, because the kids these days sure as hell don't. Right, so what do we got around in this area? Any trolls we can kill for another paragon, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we're going that way. Okay. Now, I'm pretty damn sure that my one-handed skill should be at 100 by now, and I can probably say, guess what? It, it's not. God. Oh, Nelly is, though. Speaking about kids not having pair respect for the parents, there's one just outside just told his mother she's an F and C U N T. How charming. If I said that to my mother, I'd be feckin' buried under the patio. I remember once, I don't know what I'd done, but expected her to be mad, but she just looked at the side and said, okay, and walked away. Oh, oh that's savage. Oh, nah. No, 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 no. If someone's mad at me, I'd rather them say, look, you're in for a beating, or, you know, at least voice some sort of, like, anger, or just to walk away. Oof. Oh, that's, that's savage, that is. But mothers know how to do it, you know what I mean? I mean, I could, I could literally swear my head off right now, my mum will hear us, right? Well, if I shout it downstairs, Mum, I love you. She won't hear it. It's like parents always have that, um... That thing that keeps, like, some part of the brain alert to catch anything the kid shouldn't be doing. Like, it's always active. Mad. Actually, where's Serena? Let's see if... She catches up. 
bet she's stuck in the fucking floor again. She was last time and I had to smack her in the head. Now I'm an adult, we have a playful banter, call each other at the beach and stuff, but I'd never... Yeah, I'm the same. I can call my mom a silly cow when she's a daft bitch. Things like that. Always in a playful tone. But I would never, ever go up to my mother and be like, Oh, you're a fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, just go ham. Nah. Mm -mm. Too much respect for her. I mean, she brought me into the world. She brought all four of us up single-handedly. You know, while juggling jobs and college and this, that, and to the... Because she wanted her education to be higher and stuff. Just like, you know... You, you, you just can't fault it. Ah, f it's so true. Still now, if she's now fluent and I walk past without opening her eyes, she says, where are you going? Or oh, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, what do you think you're doing? So, oh, yeah. Fuck. Thought you were sleeping. I was, but where are you going? They can hear a fart in the wind, mothers. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, mother, what, you made me a drink and food? Uh-huh, 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 well, guess where that goes? Uh-huh, well, guess where it needs to go now? Uh-huh, but where are you going? It's like, really? Where's all these shiny power guns? I want to collect them all. I think there's five to collect. I got the purple one, so I'm happy. Happy there. Where's that thing shooting arrows at me from? Oh, over there. Alright, so now we need to swap to the two-hander to get that leveled up. That's where I need to be going, so we're we'll going to explore the other. Yay! Food! I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I want to, I want to. Sorry. Better stop for DMC getting to me, because my immaculate and perfect singing. Num a num a num a num a num num. It's weird. I'm not used to two hundred weapons. Hmm. <laughs> Don't even know what I'm going to eat today. Step that, that first step's a doozy around there. <laughs> right, that's progress. Chickpea salad, fresh yogurt, and some fruit. <laughs> no. On earth would it be a chickpea salad? <laughs> chickpea stink. I don't think I've met anyone that does like chickpeas, to be honest. Wow. 
so glad there was fabric on underneath that flipping rags or something, whatever she was wearing. <coughs> Bye. So, what else is down here actually? Please be another frost troll or something I can kill to get another power gong. Or is this progression? idea where that leads. If it was to be a salad for me, we'd have to have a lot of meat, like lots of ham and chicken and stuff. It's not a <coughs> I don't class it as a meal if there's no meat in it. Someone asked me the other day what the plot of Star Wars was. <laughs> Good, I know. Watch the banana clip. Yeah, same. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you think about Skyrim's plot and you thought of chickpeas. What about Skyrim got you thinking about chickpeas? Like. She goes to chickpeas. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take a quick five minute break, have a smoke, get a coffee, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm gonna swap over and get some music put on for y'all now. Uh, where is that? Oh, I need caffeine. Like I'm a caffeine whore, and I'm not afraid to admit it. Ooh, that'll be loud. How's that volume, Polly? Was that good? Too low, too high. It's good. Ooh. Right. I should be back in a couple of minutes. And until then, enjoy the music. Peace.
Hey everybody, I'm back. Oh, right. Keyboard right. There we go. Get rid of that one. One more of that to do. I have unmuted my mic. Yeah, I did. Right. Is there any more douchebags to take care of? Obviously that would have hurt, because this weapon doesn't have a point on the end. Oof. Oh. Is he dead? No. Actually, where's Serena? Where's she at? She's still at the beginning? Nope, oh, just had on she, so she's. Yeah, there she is. Something's not right here. Be careful. I think we may be in for some trouble. You would be correct in thinking that. Oh God. Hang on. Did you hear something? Lag though. Can I get oh, I can get to uh, him from this side. What's going on with this lag? Holes in the bottom there. You would have thought they would have built these all on one level, you know, save on supplies and...
29, huh? Really? Just trying to loot him then, biatch. Home to Ura Gold Shrug. Oh, that's him in the College of Winter Hold. Okay. He'll be happy I uh, brought him a book. He's a grumpy orc. That's where we're supposed to go now. Oh, we need to go back. Oh, yeah, we need to get to that bridge. And I believe, and I could be wrong, I believe there's a troll guarding a, oh, a paragon gem. Outpost. Huh. Was expecting some farmer here. to 30. Um, wrong one. Actually, yeah, we do need this one for that. And then two hundred. Captain stands, swim splitter, deep wounds, skull crusher. Great swords. Up we go. Found the Way Shrine of Radiance Initiate. Yes, we did. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment. We'll open it then. Study a miming. Right, gain entry to the inner sanctum. I could have sworn. Oh, it's just over here. Get off. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, so I'll come back and get all these later. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, it's up there. for that to do that thing. Oh, damn it. Open. Oh, look at this free stuff. them yet. Okay. Any chests? Oh, this one's got a stop. Why is that holding the stop? Tough. Where the hell did she pull a skeleton from? because the noise that skeleton makes when it moves around is the same as what my knees do when I'm walking around. I do we're finding some skulls and stuff. Paragon. Whoop, whoop. We've missed a few, I think. I know there's one definitely that we've missed. thought I would have stayed open. No, I can't activate that either. Oh boy. So this was just a side way to go. Okay. There's a boss version of one of these. The Extrag, I think it's called. And you need to find his skull and then place it in one of his caves that he used to live in. And then you can fight him. And he can literally send you through the floor of the game. Which is always great to know. 
Come on, get through here. You can freaking go away as well. Right. <laughs> like I say, my knees make that noise as well. Mainly because, you know, I've got no uh, cartilage in there. No fluids and such. And he's got nothing. Okay. What have we got over here? Scroll. He's empty. He's empty. We need to get me some bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't help, but it would be fun. all dry. Coffee. There we go. Coffee solves all problems. teach them. They're dead. What the hell? He's like, help me! And he's like, I can't! Then smash. Everybody deaded. Feel fat and happy. Num num. Hell yeah. See, for me, it's hard to feel contempt. You know, like, I've eaten and I'm happy. I'm not full, I'm not bloated. But at the same time, if I eat too much, I'm bloated. If I eat too little and I think I'll be contempt, I still feel hungry. So it's like, <sighs> oof. First world problems, am I right? Holy crap, she actually pushed herself down there. No goodies. Oh, douchebag's here. Really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow. Yes. Sometimes it's a bottomless pit and sometimes it's the size of a pea. Can't win. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end! God, the sword's slow! Display, but a wasted effort. You delayed 
nothing but your own deaths. Shut up, you stupid blog headed fool. I'm gonna kick his tits off, do da, do da. I'm gonna kick his tits off, all the do da do. Enough for her. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools! Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're... you're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world was... <sighs> All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You waited all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. What trickery what have is you this? Got? I don't know how the hell that helmet stayed on his head. There's nothing holding it on. Ooh, I'll get his armor though. It was a vampire. Oh, now you come here. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Bertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Now that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. <laughs> you can keep hoping, mate. Since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. So... <sighs> Please, take... Even with... Ver I have been sworn to protect this veil. For the time being... 
If remnants of our kind who escaped the betrayal at the hands of the dwarfs exist out there, perhaps they will find this place one day. May Oriel watch over you. I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond the cure Oop. at this point. The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. <laughs> Push him off. <laughs> Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. Oh. Why it would fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory. That time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of snow elves nestled elsewhere on the earth. I'll also assume Bertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay in your hand. Oh, no, he didn't. For the time being, I will remain here on the earth. You're always welcome to return here at any time. Gonna anyway, I need to collect the rest of them paragons, bro. There's three missing. You're always welcome to return here at it's any time. It's not as shiny as ours, but still, it's beautiful. I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. attention it's obvious no this has to end here and now if we head back to the castle and kick the front door in we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two uh, I bet he won't yeah she's over that she's just like nah okay whatever <laughs> couldn't care less let's go kill him he's a prick Okay. Now. I can't get... How do I rotate this fucking map? I can't rotate the flipping map. There we go. No. Let me. Thank you. That was a fight and a half. It does, doesn't it? To be fair, it is a fairly big area. Like, all of Skyrim. Boop. What's up, bitch? You have Oriel's bow. I heard it described in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. Indeed. The day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind? Her own family? I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. This one should Let me talk. address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, gather round. Come on, then. We haven't got all day. Be careful!
So, nubbed all that. Snub the food too. Come on. It's time we take. Gather your things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside the castle. I hope a couple of them die. I want the, the armor for one of the mannequins. I love how he went charging straight out and they all went buggering off. Oh, there they go. <laughs> I was going to say, wait, he's gone that way, mate. What are you buggering off for your dinner for? <clears throat> um. I'm just taking everything I can get because we won't be coming back here. Because after the Dawn Guard's douche thing is complete, I will be a vampire. So these guys will be enemies to me. Because I believe Serena can turn me into a vampire. Oh, actually, uh, Skyrim mods. You've got to do a certain quest before you're allowed to marry um, Serana. I can't remember what the last quest is that you've got to do. Come on. What are you on about incorrect server response? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, Bethesda, you make some fascinating games, but your games are as buggy as hell. Don't get me started on Fallout 76. Don't, don't, just don't. <laughs> I might play it sometime, but... Uh, 37,000 people were banned during the first week of that game getting launched. Oh, I need to, uh, oh, yeah, I've still got the worm's tooth area to do. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, I started collecting the Crimson Nern root. That's a crap house. I need to uninstall that. It's, it, it, it's bull. It really is. I miss the times where there was people making mods where they automatically, you just dumped everything in a chest. <clears throat> that you didn't want to carry and it automatically sorted it but there's no such thing anymore because uh, was it Microsoft that bought them out? yep oh, that gear sucks uh, where is it at? There. Um, you can always throw in after the Kindred Judgment. Kindred Judgment. Oh! Okay. <clears throat> after this quest, we can do it. Cool. The biggest mod uh, where you can see the roads on the map. That was supposed to be Bethesda that did it. Uh, well, sorry, they were supposed to have done that originally. And then... Why have they got the Imperial flag there? Um, but no, the modders did it. And now you can see the roads and stuff. Just makes it look so pretty. But I mean... Look at the size of the map. 
I mean, look, all of the space unused. Because Skyrim's border doesn't end till here. Right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That's a. Uh, Crossway Towers, a bit of a thing. Oh, it's it's massive. If you put into perspective, like if you were to start over here and walk walk your way all the way over here, it would take you a good ten minutes, which is kind of nuts. It would take you a bit longer if you like, you know, started encountering like enemies and stuff, but. What I get, what I like about it is, it's a big map, but it's not empty. It's lived in. There's camps. There's little uh, hunter lodges, and there's the troll things. Um, you know, there's there's all sorts of stuff kicking about. Have I got to talk to you? St no, I was gonna say. All right, these things. Awkward. Why are they? Okay. They're playing this as flipping excursion like it's a tower defense game. Can't. Die. One of them is using magic that is severely messing up my screen. Attacking a dead guy, like uh. right. Charge. On the plus side, Saranda's mother will be able to come out of the, the soul current. Possibly. I can't believe she just actually said that. Stay. Oh yeah, they're humans and stuff. 
I'm going around like, oh, I can't steal things, and we're killing everyone. Of course we can. Human flesh, lovely. This ends now, yet yeah, you're stood behind a table like a little bitch. Confused because I didn't stake that one. Oh. Poor guy. Right. Now we need to go kill her Faja. So my dog. I see you still favor. <laughs> see? Well that's all. Bye, bitch. Oh, we get sword as well. Royal vampire gear. Going. Well, now that's done. Not sure. I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned. That's what I wanted to hear. Yes, yeah, she can. I'm ready when you are. It's over. He's dead. And the prophecy dies with him. I... I suppose this is difficult for you. I think my father really died a long time ago. This was just... the end of something else. I did what needed to be done. Nothing more. I think perhaps. I think you did more than that. You have my thanks. There it is. I was looking for this. It's empty. God damn it. <clears throat> Oh, there you are. What now? Are you sure that's something you want? This isn't like picking out a new outfit. You'll be a creature of the night, like me. All right then. Hold still. Numbs. Journey of the Vampire. This is the blood of more like Baal. And oh look at that coincidence, we're wearing his armor. It's almost like I planned this. Tada I can't be smart when I wanna be. Can't. You can only drink it when he offers you it. A 
I swear there was a chest in here. Ow, that didn't work. It looks tasty. Yeah, it's just cranberry juice. It still says steel, even though technically this is my place now. Bitch, you ain't got nothing on me. Ugh. Best of both worlds on that one. Uh, tab, level up. It only affects my stamina. Is that it? Hmm. I'll have to go out and kill some peoples. Is a vampire. Right, so, Holly, what quest line should we start next? We've done the companions. Any, uh, any of the uh, side quests, story you've got, let's think, you've got College of Winter Hall, you've got Dark Brotherhood, you've got the Thieves Guild, you've got the Blades, but that's part of the story, so I guess story and Blades go hand in hand, uh, we've done the Companions. Uh, we've got the Dragon Ball DLC, we've got um, the Worm's Tooth one, we've got... Falkreath Town, as in bought the house. Yes, we have the house there. There's the Dragonborn DLC, there's the Worm's Tooth DLC, and I could have sworn. Worm tubes. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, that one and take that one off. Now, this one's a part of a mod, like an extra couple of missions and whatnot. Exactly. Uh, we've got the Daedric Prince there as well. Ah, you made it. I was beginning to think the problem was straightforward enough, I suppose. A dragon. Contingents of guards have been... Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lurius Leon with the East Empire Company. How shall I put it? Dragon attacks are very they're also very bad for settlements throughout the Holds, hence a commonality. 
we've been cooperating with the Yars and pool our resources together towards finding a solution to this issue. I'm sure the collective bounty of 10,000 gold on this dragon should stir enough sword ravers into action should my plan fail. Could assume I know that already because I'm smart. I didn't, I just wanted to say tooths. Yeah, thought so. I know of some mercenaries with exceptional talents. Glad you asked. This dragon has so far proven very difficult to approach. And aside from giants, I'm not sure what else could stand up against a dragon. But I've assembled a team of the finest mercenaries I know. They've been tracking the dragon to its last known site, Foundry. There's Athena, a Redguard warrior from Hammerfell. He used to be Alakir until he took up mercenary work. Dainant, Bosmarancha, the most skilled sharpshooter I know. She was recently incarcerated in solitude for petty theft. Luckily, the Empire was willing to look the other way this time if it meant putting a stop to this dragon. Shaga, an orc berserker from Nazulro, with the strength of at least three of his kind. We'll definitely need him along for the hunt. And Elmira, a mage with some unhealthy fixations, but highly skilled in the arts of the arcane nonetheless. I'll mark the rendezvous point on your map. When you get there, speak to Aether. By now, he should know that that dragon's been roosting. If we're lucky, we might be able to get the jump on that dragon and put an end to the trouble it's been causing once and for all. Godspeed, Dragonborn. I'll be waiting here for your return. So he hires a team of mercenaries to kill the dragon when he knows the Dragonborn can take down dragons single-handedly. Dumbass. Absolute dumbass like. So, you're the one Lorius asked us to wait for. You're this dragonborn people have been talking about. Well, if Lorius trusts you, then I guess we have no choice. I'm Aether, and this is our little ragtag group assembled by the Empire's coin. I wish we could have met under more favorable circumstances, but I'm afraid we're a little short on time. We've been following recent sightings of the dragon in Falkreath Hold. It hasn't attacked Falkreath directly, but its presence is straining trade. Supply shipments through the region have ground to a halt. Seems like they've heard this dragon has a bit of a penchant for them. Okay. Why? Can't say for sure. It would make more sense for the beast to hit major population centers. It's got centers. the Thieves Guild but who knows chess what piece on. Intentions are. The last witness I spoke to said the dragon had been returning to the same spot in the mountains southeast of Falkreath over the past few days. Ancient's ascent is likely where it's roosting now. But who knows for how long. I suggest we head there immediately. We may be able to catch it by surprise. We can't do this on our own. That's why Lurius asked for your help. With you on our side, we might just have a chance of pulling this off. <laughs> There's no river on, here. We need to move quickly. <laughs> the river's behind me. Right, so that's the mage. There's the orc. Oh, there's the thief. She's got little pigtails. Whoosh. Queen Cherry! Yo, what is up? Let's get the flipping holy crap out of me, woman. <laughs> I'm still not used to these notifications. Witch Doctor, yo! 
the dumbass welcome ac yo what is up spiels welcome welcome everybody we come for your fridge and its contents it's going good it's going good oh. Just apart from me having a heart attack at the notification of me being raided Oof. but uh thank you so much queen cherry how are you all been hope you enjoyed the queen cherry stream wonderful artist that she is what got in the ice box uh chicken chicken uh, a couple of ready meals and some magnum type ice lollies is that dog dog Where the hell did this dog just come from? Yo! Holy crap! Right, let me sit up, cuz... Oh. Hey, Queen Cherry, how you been, hon? Missed you, Des. I've been good. Just busy with IRL. Honestly, real life comes first. I'm glad that you're doing well. What's in the fridge? Oh. I forget Americans and whatnot keep everything in the fridge. Always catches me off guard. Um... Lots of grub, some sweets, or candy as you guys call it. You know, the usual. There isn't any beer in there though, sadly. Yo, AC, thank you for the bit, sir. Been busy with work, so I haven't been able to drop by. Glad to be here. Honestly, AC, no worries. No worries at all. Uh, the VODs are always there. Um, or up on my... YouTube channel, even though I've been slacking on that the past little bit. But yeah, welcome everyone. And thank you for sticking around. Oh, the raft of that dragon? This dragon right here? I've already cleared it. What's my third person look like? Oh, my dude looks like an absolute beast. Uh, that one. Chada, Look at that. Absolute badass. And we've just become a vampire. Uh, Serena's here, because we've just finished the Dawn Guard. And uh, she's got the same kind of outfit going on. Boom. So she's got the mage version, so she was cloaked and kept it out of her, her eyes. And I've got the warrior's version. Hanging out with you was fun. Oh, thanks, mate. I enjoy your conversations, my friend. That's just because I'm an absolute moron. You know, I, I'm just as daft as it gets. But, you know, there's no other way to be, really. Well, not for me, anyway. Damn. Thank you so much, Queen. Pardon me, Queen Cherry. Woof. Burp came at a really rough time. But, uh, yeah, we're basically gods in this game. Um, oh, no, I don't want to auto-walk. Um, actually, have I got a, no, I haven't got to level up. So I need to get this this leveled. So I've got heavy armor is legend twice in a hundred block legendary hundred smithing hundred legendary enchantments taking a while because I'm not very good at it. Uh, none of the mage stuff's been done yet. Uh, speech is a hundred, but I've got something on that boosts it. Pickpocketing's taking a while. Lock picking, yeah, I should reset this one. But I'm going to wait till I get to the Thieves Guild because they've got them chests that you can pick lock and such. You are no such thing, sir. So I am, and I'm proud of it. Uh, sneak. All good. Archery done. I need to get some light armor made. I can get that leveled so easily. I've got a mod. Well, I'm using mods because I've, I've got over 7,000 hours in this game. It gets boring. And uh, this is the first time I've ever gone into a story with mods on. Um... Gotta be good at lockpicking and get them chastity belts off. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I can just skip to the top, I believe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Not a problem, AC. How was your stream there, Queen Cherry? Wrecked. 
There's no dragon. Oh no, there is a dragon there. Kendar belongs to the Warriors worthy of combat walk before me. I was beginning to think your champions were all cowards, Kaisal. Varuki Togat Kronga Dobaki. This one surprised me with its Doba souls. I have heard. I think the stream was awesome today, but I'm tired Maybe now. Time to get back to bed. You go and get some rest, sir. It has been a grave. Go get all the sleeps and uh in yeah. your tongue, lots of uh, energy. They call it worms too. To the door. It is the Bromlock Stronma. Seek it. Ya goes Walan. And you shall have the battle you seek. Off he goes. Huh. So we're supposed to fight it, and yet I was legitimately the only one that came up to face it. Is that full? No, it's empty. Damn it. I can't believe the beast just slipped through our fingers. This Good. Go I'm glad you had fun. We can count on that. This Cherry streams are always amazing. Sorry, wait away for a sec. Not a problem, Miss Cherry. Also, guess what comes out today? There's your album comes out today, I believe. It's foolish to think we could just corner it like a. Seems like the dragon wants us to pursue it, and I'm sure he can explain it better than I can. But for now, we should return to the Banner Man and let him know what transpired. Ooh, well, hopefully on payday I can buy it and help uh, support you, sir. Right, so now where have we got to go? We've got to go... Oh, we've got to go back to the douchebag, okay. And my application to BMI was accepted. Oh, get in! Looking good on all fronts over there, bud. Hey, Cherry, on payday, I will have some commission work for you. I'll hit you up in the DMs. Oh yeah, the more I, the more I starve, the stronger I get. Question, peeps. I'm going through this game. I'm doing the thieves area, and I'm going to be a sneaky, sneaky thief. On, on the magic guy, I'm going to obviously food, use magic, etc, etc. Et but if I was to use my vampire form, would that technically count it as magic? Because you have to use soul drain and beginning. another one. You may never return. So, how did it go? Did you slay the dragon? Slay the dragon that quick? Are you mental? What do you mean? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out there pursuing it? Worms too. Then it seems that once again that dragon slipped out of our grasp. I was hoping you wouldn't. So I'm part this. of one of the two biggest music royalties and right businesses. Oh sweet. There's a reason I'm involved in this little dragon hunt of ours. I manage the Imperial mining settlement at Worms Tomb. That dragon I'm on it up and up. Together. Hell yeah, sir. Hell yeah. Just don't forget about us when you're all run. like, you know, Never big rock star on that. Wreck. I tried evacuating people back to the mainland in case it changed its mind, but those miners are a stubborn lot. Foolish, if you ask me. So I hired a group of mercenaries to come to Worms Tooth and put that dragon to the sword. Sadly, they were God, this guy could talk again. a freaking glass eye to sleep. Never in a million lifetimes. Things were quiet. By quiet. the way, everyone that's just come around and who streams a watch, I'm always generally in your stream just lurking. Well, it have been for the past couple of weeks, but. Same dragon spot on Skyrim, strange strain trade begin. Okay. I came to Skyrim at the behest of the East Empire Company. They probably saw this my responsibility to deal with. 
I thought I could correct past mistakes by ending things here. That dragon has proved far more slippery than I had imagined. It seems we have no choice but to pursue it back to where things first started, back to Wormstone. Oh, I've blown off to an island. In solitude. Meet me there and we'll set sail for Wormstone. I shouldn't need to remind you that we won't know what to expect when we arrive. You should stock up on whatever supplies you need before we depart. And don't forget, that 10,000 gold bounty is still up for grabs should we actually manage to pull this off. 10 grand. <laughs> uh, he thinks 10 grand's a lot of money. <laughs> Idiot. Oh. Oh, hey. Right, so we're gonna go to solitude. Thank you. Good to see you again. Uh. People say there is someone in Riften that can. Don't care about the face changer. Make you look completely different. Rumor. Been hearing some strange tales of the Jarl's children. Say the ones turning wicked, and the others have an ill-favored look to them. Best to keep clear. That's the one. It's about time I got that quest. Uh, sale. Let's save that appetite, hmm? Oh. Nope. Don't want anything from you. We just want to give you... See, 10 points of sun damage. Undead tar targets take triple damage. But then I've got my beast. I've got my absolute beast of a bow. The bow of shadows. I don't get why there's not an image there. But like. Oh I know why. Because this bow of shadows is a reward for killing something in a mod. No she she looks like she's really going to cry. Or. I don't know. She's not too amused either way. Uh, so. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll do all that later. God's blessings on you. Uh, do, 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 do. Why isn't that? Journey of the Vampire. Check. I've become a vampire. I no longer feel life in my body, and I thirst for blood. My journey is just the beginning as a creature of the night. Dun, dun. dun. Oh, yeah, because this is new. Because I finally fixed it. So, apparently, I've got a, a journal. Uh, that one. Still need to learn these buttons. Books. I'm guessing it's going to be a vampire journal. Ah, no most of them. There. Entry. Since becoming a vampire, my body has felt heavy and I feel the grave calling out to my blood. I should find a coffin to rest at. Holes of the dead will be a likely place to find a coffin. Okay. Oh, and now that we're a vampire, I might be able to build the coffin at um, the manor. Uh, Where am I looking at? Here. I don't know what we'll need to build it, though. There's Marcus the Sabretooth. Again, one of the other mods. Um, what's it called? Treasure of Riverwood? I know nothing can harm a follower. It's mainly so I don't clap a one. Um. Right. Let's go to the basement and see if we can build this coffin. I'm pretty sure that's where it goes. Like, right there. Otherwise, why would you have this space? Misc. Oh, we finally build that. And that. But there's still no coffin. Huh. Why would you have this as an empty space? It just, to me, it doesn't make sense. But I swear on console, because I caught Sanguine... Uh, before I'd done any of the Dawn Guard stuff. And I'd use that and it let me put a coffin right there. That's very strange. Just need a couple. Two minutes. Isn't this supposed to be 
ones up there? Or do they just get dotted here? I think we need like three more. I need to get another amulet of Mara, but I don't know where to find them. <coughs> right, time to put the other katana on the weapon rack. Um, Harkon, up here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There it is. So we've got the Moth Priests and then Harkons. I mean, pretty much exactly the same. I oh, know they're not. The Subas are different. And obviously the colour of the pommels and the wraps different. Okay. And then... Oriole's bow. I can get put there. I've got the great sword back on. Right. So that turns out to be a bust. There's probably uh, a mod that can put a coffin in there or something. I don't know. I'll Google it later on. Right. Boom. Let's go meet this guy's um, solitude. Uh, whoa. There's two moons? Wait, what? I'm just, I'm just gonna just just roll with it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Is he up? <sighs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Nothing can harm your follower. Um, see. Oh, his body's gone. They executed him and his body's gone. Do you normally have to loot his body to get his amulet of Talos off of him? It starts a quest, but I've never ever done it. Huh. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Tiny little hidey hole. La da 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 dee. Oop. <gasps> Oof, that was close. Well, I don't think we could die from it, but still. Rather not risk it. I know we've got to get in there at one point for the Thieves Guild, so having this checkpointed is quite handy. Hey, watch it. Shut up, you drug bitch. And if you could use a fishing rod as a weapon, that would be hilarious. Whoop, 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 whoop. I inquire of this. It can take us to work. Let me know when you're ready and we'll depart. Remember, you won't be returned until that dragon is dead, so make sure you're prepared for anything. Let's go. Great. I'll let everyone know we're ready to set some. Oh, how is everyone Head doing? Head deck and get some shut eye. It'll take a few hours for us to get there, and we'll need to be fully rested to face whatever is in store. Push him off the boat. <laughs> You're obsessed with pushing in someone off the boat, didn't you? Oh. 
Oh, this is taking forever. You want someone to fall off something? Well, normally it's Lydia falling off a cliff. With a keen sense of exploration. Well, we're always exploring, but it's because generally I'm just easily distracted. Alright, listen up, everyone. That monster is out there on this island. It knows we're here, and it likely has a trap for the parents. No second chances. No letting it get away this time, or none of us get a Do I make myself clear? No, Lydia sat at um, the house in White Run. She just does my head in. She, she really does. She can't be sneaky. She attracts everything and anything. The archer dude in Riften, he's a better companion than follow- what the- uh, they look nasty. Docks, mining, barrows. Okay. So whereabouts are we on the map? Oh, we're at Solstein. Okay. This looks like it's just been added to it. She really is a misery guts. Always complains, always moans. You save her, she bitches at you. You let her die, and well, obviously you feel bad, but no, I don't feel bad for letting her die. Oosh! Fun over there. There's one up there. No crap's given right there, he just took her out. Take grief. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Oh. I'm not actually sure if anyone I know Who's there, huh? Time to end this likes her. Can you? Port. So, funny thing on Mojo's B port page, I'm the featured release. Nice! Look at all this cheese! Wallace and Gromit will be happy. Marauder Shield. I like how it's saying steal, as in, you know, taking things from bandits is a bad thing, considering, you know, they're bandits, but... So we've got a mining cave in there, okay. What else we got round here? That's gonna leave me back up to... no? Someone new, okay. What have we got here? I'll show you 65 inches of frickin' steel. Go 
doink. Oh, by the way, guys, I when I play this game, if it's not nailed down, I take it. And I've got a mod that lets me melt irons down, like um, the kettles and pots like Who's that. There? I can melt them down and put them back into ingots. Stairs. Hi, bitch. Marauder Shaman, eh? Peekaboo. I don't know how slicing someone like that into the kneecap would kill them. I mean, you could call them stump for the rest of their life, but it's not going to kill them. Ice home echo. Right, so apparently there's rewards if you explore. I mean, apart from just smacking a couple of idiots about, we ain't got many rewards. Oh, we can smelt them. That one's empty, that one's empty. Oh boy. Right, so let's get back out of here and get on with the quest at hand, huh? Oh, hang fire. We just found the kitchen. Trust my fat ass to be able to find the kitchen straight away, though. Elf cap cup. We got. Eggs, salmon. Right, if they've got eggs and they've got salmon and they've got herbs and stuff, why they haven't? Why haven't they made an omelet? Someone worked uh, quite well to stock this kitchen. Nah, I'm just nicking it all. Right, does this lead me out? No. It's under the bedroom. Wait, what? Take it all, sod it. <coughs> Pardon what? Gloves, nothing else. Right, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can actually find the exit this time. As Hollywood say, it wore off the worm's tooth. These look so weird. They look like the um, the sucker things on the bottom of an octopus's tentacles. Right, so they are. They're actually quite a ways away. We'll just follow the road and make it round, I guess. <laughs> Casey! What up? Ah, oh, it's Bernard. Bernard. He's a cute kitty. So what you been up to, AC? How's life been going? as well. I hate the Empire. Ooh. Well, I got burned down. Oh, so did that. Damn. Not too bad. Working again and now and so that's just been keeping me busy. Otherwise, just streaming. Gods, what a disaster. I can't even begin to imagine how the mining settlement's going to recover. Elmira is that all you care about, mate? There's dead people left and right and all you care about is the mining settlement. 
Rest Correct. are heading to the battle on the other side of the island. I suggest you follow along with us. But if you want to scout around first, we'll be waiting for you at the battle. So go on then, bugger off. I'm off to loot. Ah, oh, poor doggy. Ah, poor doggy lost his owner. Got the house in half cave in. Have I got a Healy boy? Uh, got a Healy boy for me, but not a Healy boy for others. Uh, restoration. Healing hands. What the hell are you on about? I'm helping heal them, you prick. God, you can't be like you can't do nothing in this town with someone bitching at you. Well, that's a Smith from Riverwood. Signy who guards Venger. Okay. And they've they've taken in a stray dog. Cool, cool. So I'm guessing this is their mining area and what's been making them all the money. Let's go have a look. Why are you following me? Go back home. Oh, so there's an upper ridge too. Okay. Oh, what happened to all that stuff? Poison, Miner's Journal. Something dangerous. Okay, cool. I had a very amusing ob oblivion playthrough when I discovered the Elder Scrolls series. I didn't know jumping on random on a random horse would result in an arrest attempt. My getaway involved a cliff I didn't know was there. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, bud. Like I say, I've logged too many hours in this game. But still haven't done everything, which is kind of nuts. That guy says there was something dangerous down here. Also, my constant temptation to throw fireballs at villagers. They didn't like that very much and ganged up on me. Yeah, they'll do that. They'll do that. No, oh, ain't too sweet. Right. 
Come on, Bert, we've got stuff to do. No fault, didn't know it, apparently. I want to see where this dangerous stuff is. I want to be kicking some ass. Instead of just nicking everything that's not nailed down. This is just a damn dead end. I was too used to Fable where everyone feared and ran up. Yeah. <laughs> I love Fable 1. If Fable 1 had the weapon mechanics of Fable 3, it would have been best. You wouldn't have been able to top it. So where's this fucking dangerous Hoojimi Watson? Is he down here? Ah. <coughs> fell off the lift. I heard word that the miners had broken through some old underground ruins. Oh, it's the same old story, man. It's Droga. <sighs> Fable 1 is amazing. Jack of Blades, honestly, is a great protagonist. And quite honestly, they should have updated it and... Wait. I can place these? Ooh. <laughs> Evil thoughts. Um, but honestly, absolutely fantastic game. And if they just crispened up the story on Fable 3, I think it would have been a bit better. If you know what I mean? Instead of, like, you can tell it's rushed. Like, crunch time got too much for people. Which is all well and good, you know, we're only human, but. It led to some very um, interesting developments, as such. Oh, ow! Oh, this guy fell. I need to get some skulls so I can make skeletons. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's just all yeah. But. Fables were absolutely amazing game. It really did, and I mean, I get the grind. You've got like what, sixty days or something to make so much money, and try and save as much as your town as possible. And that's it's easily done. Even a beginner on that game can do it, because the way they've laid it out and set it out everyone can play which is fantastic but when the darkness en gets entered into the game it don't make a goddamn sense it's like where did it come from why is it why does it exist ooh crimson and root i need to find loads of them um nothing of that is explained to me so i'm supposed to come this way how the hell do i get around huh? Speaking of go making god down goddamn sense. That leads down here. Is there a gate or something? Don't say they put this entire building here just so I get one bit of nerd root. Come on. I was hoping I could hit it and it would lose. Hmm. Yeah, then I'm out saving the world and my wife leaves me after. Yeah, exactly. So the whole, like, you're going through a cave because you need to get to a town. You're trying to make treaties with people to um, ensure safety. And then you're like, Timmy, why is this dark? Why is the darkness coming after me? I ain't done Jack Crack wrong. I wasn't the one that screwed things up. Yeah, I'm the one that's getting targeted, and they don't explain nothing, really. Which 
I get why. I, I do. I really do get why. But at the same time, it's just like not everyone has that same view. But hey, oh. <laughs> I'll have to come back and explore the rest of this. Oh. But in that game, you get screwed over either way. And it's... Like I said, the game's fun, but some of the choices are just so stupid. Oh, yeah. Game's a great game. They just missed out a lot of explanation. They could have done it in a couple of cutscenes, to be fair, but... It's still a pretty good game. I like the way the weapons evolve depending on what you use, like how you use them. There's one if you use it, if you kick 50 chickens or something, it gets a bit of an evil look. No stat bonuses, no nothing, you just get a bit of an evil looking sword. <laughs> it's just like, okay. <laughs> That's gonna take you right back up there. Actually, that's the way I need to go. I came in this way. Sorry, Serana. I'm having to walk back up again because my dumb earth can't figure out where I am. Alright. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Up there, then back through. Got it. So much for all the goodies, huh? You know, wonder they're making so much money. So much ore. old games like that. Well, sorry, old uh, games. You still healing him. Gonna catch up with Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, I'm trying to tell us. I'm trying to think of some other games that were quite good as well back in the day. Do you get? Excuse me. Look up there, pretty damn quick. Uh, we've got to go either through or around. I'm gonna lurk for a bit, Des. Got some stuff to take care of. If I'm not back, have a good rest of the stream, bro. Not a problem. Thank you for popping in, mate, and thank you for sticking by. Nice to see you again, bud. So confused of where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Much appreciated, mate.
So apparently the reward for doing this is 10 grand, huh? Plus anything we make along the way. How are you doing, chat? Ooh, pardon me. So I was trying to <laughs> try kill back a bar. How's everyone doing? Coming up to a ruin. Dragon Claw Key. Wow. So at first you don't get me any dinner. Okay. And now you eat an ice cream without me? Wow. Wow. That's a surf pull though again. Rusted Claw. Huh, we need to find a rusted claw to get into that one. Okay. I'll have to keep an eye out for that one. Okay. Unicorn Cove. There's one in Iceland you can get called uh, Unicorn's Dreams. I can tell you now, I wouldn't even give it to kids. It is wild. It's like they try to do a new take on um, Neapolitan. <laughs> they didn't work. Can't get into there. Actually, speaking of unicorns, you know the little box, uh, little bottles of hand sanitizer you got. I got one. It's got like a little, little pink thing on it, and it's got unicorn magic written across it. I'll have to send you a picture of it later. Unicorns are bad as. Hello, dragon. <laughs> Get your ass back here, you son of a bitch. Fight me, bro. Fight me. <laughs> Where do I do what, sinister? Oh, sanitizer. I th it's just a cute little thing that's over it. You know, because the, the bottles are normally boring, basic crap. Apparently there's different ones, but mum gets the uh, unicorn one. Because, yeah, it's funny. If you get cheeky, buddy, summon them. Do-do-do-do. So is there a repaired Bleak Falls Barrow entrance they've got going on there? By the way, where where I am now is a mod. This is all one big mod. It is a damn good job. It's a little bit laggy, but... Hunter's Shack. A 
Okay, so we've got a couple of hunters here too. I mean, the main reason I came here was just to get a teleport point, but... Got giants over there, got elk. Honestly, like, I can't fathom how the hell they've done half of the stuff. Down route. Absolutely fantastic the way that they come up with stuff. Oh, Sabretooth. Sorry, dragons, but you're going to have to die. Uh, the dragons, giants. I'm just looking at the dragon nest. Give me your stuff. We're going to miss. Got you, bitch. Right, you. Oh, I got a tooth. Nice. You only need, like, another, what, six more now? Server, private servers that made it so you could actually play as murlocs and stuff like just enemies you could just that could be your character <laughs> freaking hilarious <laughs> and yes you were damn right I played as a murloc I was a murloc shaman Enemies. Oosh. Really? Thankfully, you didn't make a horrible sound. Why are they gonna bring dogs into fights, man? Irks me. <laughs> there you go, Holly. She fell off something. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Dumbass that she is. I swear to God, if this kid outside doesn't stop kicking the ball off the side of my house, I'm going to go outside and snap that sorry. ball in half. Or te sorry, tear that ball in half. So annoying. so many people like allies and whatnot fighting with you because I will hit them. They could be immortal. I'll still find a way that I'll hit them and end up killing them somehow. Yeah, special 
pixel and solemn. Right, got to do something and then unlock that gate. None of your we oh, we've got to get the weapon to fit the slot to then open it. Oh. Any of these douchebags have it? Oh, it's here. Wait. <laughs> Light a bonfire like it's Dark Souls or something. The... One thing that gets me, right, is if you turn into a werewolf or you turn into a vampire, right, and no one sees you, and then you just start going around and just murking fools left and right to level up said spec, how do they know how, you, like, who you are to give the bounty to? Never understood that. Even if you're completely invisible, right? And you set it up so there's like a thousand people in front of you, turn it werewolf, vampire, whatever, no one can see you. You still rack up a bounty. Ooh, wormstone. Hell yeah, I would take some of this. You still rack up a bounty, but they don't know it's you because they never saw you. I've never understood how that worked. I don't know what wormstone stuff we can make, but I'm nicking the ore. It's like a DLC patch, this bloody side. The vein is depleted. Okie dokie. I don't know why that just randomly popped up. <clears throat> right, so we've got to get this weapon then use it as a key. Still cracking me up that they made a little bonfire back there as if this game was a Soulsborne game. of the salty mave discovered. Ooh. There we go. Honestly, props to whoever made this mod. detail into it as in oh is that it as in um 
I know nothing's empty. Fungus stalks. Oh. Hey, Hawker. <laughs> Bye, Hawker. What the? Is yielding, bitch. You attack people, you either commit to it or don't attack people. It's pretty simple. sorts of stuff up here. Taking the loot, I'm not taking any magical instruments or nothing. I'm playing new thong. Uh. Oh bugger. We have to wrap it up after we put the sword in. Oh, four hours. Damn. See, at first I thought it was just going to be this sword. But, no. <laughs> it's just rolling, 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 rolling. Right. I'm going to leave it there. Oh, my back. Ow. Let's see. Who can we... Badger. He's playing Dragon Quest. But peeps, lovely, awesome, amazing demon cubs that you are. I'm gonna call it there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for joining everyone. Thank you for sticking around for people who came from uh, Miss Cherry's raid. You are amazing. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the do uh, the subs. Oh, I'm going to go eat. My stomach is going nuts and my back's killing me. I need food. You're all amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, tomorrow's stream will be... Uh, what's it called? Space Engineers. We're just going to be messing about. Um, made a wall of awesomeness. And everything like that. I'm still learning the game. And, yeah... Hopefully we'll have some fun with it. But stay safe, stay awesome, kick your day in the ass, and be epic. With that being said, I shall catch you next time. Peace out, everybody.